Hello guys, welcome back to the Blarky channel. Wait, 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 I don't know, man. I also have a flat cap on. You guys see this? This is a flat cap. I actually went out of my way to buy a flat cap. Bruh. So as you guys know, we have started the beautiful year of 2024. And I'm ill. <laughs> and I keep coughing every second, but I'm kind of But yeah, basically, it's a new year. That means it's time for a cringe award. <laughs> If you missed last year's, basically I've compiled the cringiest people of that year that I've made videos on, that you guys have sent me, and we figure out who is the cringiest person of, in this case, 2023. A lot of you guys disagreed with my last one because, um, because I gave the crown to the cringiest person of 2022 to someone who's basically ironic. It has to be Lala, man. Like, she's just, she was my first ever elemental reaction. I wanna push you in seven position for 70 minutes. And I'm not gonna lie, if I was to go back, I would change that. But it is what it is. I'm glad to be continuing this, um, tradition. So yeah, other than that, I feel like we should just roll the freaking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's food of you time, guys. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Balaki's food review and the first food review of the year. If you're new to this segment and you don't know what's going on, we take some of the most scrumptious, delightful products and give them a little taste test to see if they be squanching, branching, branching, and scrunchiating. So in today's food review, we've actually got some uh, candy from Korea, BTS style. Do you know? But these are lacto. Wait, 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 wait. Lacto Joy. Lacto. Give me some of this. Oh, look how cute this is. It's a star. You're the only star that I see. You're the only star. And it should have like some juice inside. So we're gonna just taste it. It smells like pineapple, uh, which is better than lemon, I guess. I'm not a fan of the texture, but it's actually not that bad. I can't believe I'm wearing a flat cap. This is the gay issue. The cringiest person of 2023 by Drake, aka Billy Eilish. It's basically the same format as last year's, but I just kind of updated the photos and stuff. This will be people from my series or people you guys have sent me. Who will win the poop crown of 2023? Yes, I did draw that. Uh, honestly, it's the same as last year's. I could change it actually. You know what? Let me let me add some stuff. Now he's got a little face. There you go. Look how cute that is. Oh, let's begin. Swag goggles coming off. Spectacles. All right, so you know how this goes. If you've seen the last one, you're probably gonna know it's the same format. Mega cringe. This is people that have given me, you know, mega element of reaction. So it's the top of the cringe. It's like, I wanna die. This one is kind of just, a, you know, oh, it stings a little bit. It's, oh. This one's straight face. It's just like, wow, cringe. Moving on. This one's, you no. Know, <laughs> a little bit funny, a little bit goofy, a little bit quirky, a little bit. Uh, and this one's just, it's whatever. So we're gonna start off with group A, which is known people. So this is people I know and I have seen before. And we also have group B, which is unknown, which is people you guys have sent me, or I plan on making videos in the future. Stronger dingly. Uh, this is the Valorant streamer, by the way. If you didn't know, he's supposed to be a sexy Valorant e, e guy. I think it's like your technique that's the issue. Do you want me to teach you? <clears throat> oh. Well, what position should I do, I guess? Oh, are they actually in, like, a game? <laughs> Can you imagine going into a Valorant game? Oh, let's get some dubs, dude. I cannot wait to actually try my ass off. And you hear these lot going crazy, like, just staring at each other in spawn. Like, get roleplay. They are roleplay! <laughs> he didn't actually used to show his face, but then when he showed his face, everyone would start bullying him. It was like some dream shit. I don't think he even posts Valorant anymore, but uh, his Valorant shit was fucking awful. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Eek! Oh my god! He's so cute! Oh my god! Uh, question. Okay. Yeah, what's your question? What is your favorite type? Shut up. I don't care. Him just, you know, using his sexy deep voice while talking to girls on Valorant and playing it. It was age. He kind of changed a little bit. So, if we're talking about his prime Valorant days, he was definitely up here. But I'm gonna put him here for now. All right, next up, we got a big one. We got a Dream. There he is. Groom, 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 groom. I want you in my room, but only if you're 16. I gotta stop doing that because apparently uh, he was actually innocent. Pedophile or not, he's still cringe because his Snapchat is some next level fucking cringe. And also his fans put him higher. Yeah, no man, this is a grown man doing all this. Uh, I think he's up there. 
I think he's up there. Alright, here we got like an honorable mention. We got IHOP Lady. <laughs> You know it's a big deal when you made it into the cringiest people of 2023 and you're not even known. This is from one video. She's definitely up there, man. She's not in like mega cringe, but she's cringe. I remember seeing that for the first time. It made me want to fucking hang my- Alright, next up we have English VTubers. To be honest, the only ones that really make me cringe over this is Mori. Her music is the worst shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Yeah, fuck off, man. Dude, I should have just put her on the list. Um, because she's a part of the English VTuber squad, I'm gonna put him in cringe. I, I've said it before, but the English roaster of VTubers are just next level fucking cringe. That's not even counting the kinky guys. Your waifu, Yuka. This one's up there. You know why, why this one's up there? Because it's one of the few people on the list that make me uncomfortable. Yeah, she just kisses the camera. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I forgot she's always- she's- her nipples are always hard. I know there's a lot of people that'll be like, would, but you guys just need some real life pussy. Oh my god, okay, this one is definitely just shooting straight to the top. My Hero Academia fans slash cosplayers. You know it's bad when I group them as- as a whole, because I haven't seen one My Hero Academia cosplayer that isn't cream. They're definitely going straight to the top of the list. You guys have completely ruined that fucking anime, I don't know how you've done it. But you have. Alright, next up we have someone that I personally just hate. Like, <laughs> Neon. It's like the kid you bully at school if he was to make it and be famous. He's with this girl now and apparently he's got her pregnant. He's just a walking L. He's such a keyboard warrior too and that puts him high on the list. I'm gonna put him, uh, I think here is perfectly fine. Uh, Jojo Siwa post gay. I don't know why I put that there. I don't think she's super cringe. I think she's just cringe. You are still, you are still a traitor. And she's like being serious too. She thinks she can sing. Messed up a girl, is it fun? I know it used to be. And her facial expressions when she's smart. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put her. Uh, you know what? She's cringier than the iHop lady, I think. So she's going here for now. Alright, we've got Matan Evan. If you don't know, this is the Bill Clinton kid. It's kind of similar to Neon, where you just. It's not really cringy, you just hate the kid. I'm gonna put him at the top of just straight face because. Once again, I just hate the guy. Oh, she's new. She, she's. She, I made a video on her like a few weeks ago, actually. <laughs> she's not even cringe. It's just shit, like horse shit music. I'm just gonna put her here for now. We got Gorlock the Destroyer. No joke. That's actually what comes up when you search her. I think her name's actually like Ali C or something. Um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be honest, I don't think she's cringe. I think she's ugly as shit, and I think- I think she's actually not that bad because of that one clip of her saying, uh, if you don't like getting bullied, if you don't like being made fun out of if you're fat, uh, do something about it. And then she was like, working out and stuff, so she's trying to improve. That made her very likable. So because of that, she's here. We've got Jack, another recent person I made a video on. Uh, we don't need to look at any clips of him. He's just, it's kind of like Neon situation, but I would put him, I think he's just behind Neon. He is just shit content and he's just, his personality is shitty too. Alright, next we've got a rapper, Lil Mabu. I actually have never made a video on this guy because copyright claims exist. But he makes some of the cringiest music I've ever heard in my entire life. He has this whole like nerd, I'm the nerd from the hood persona. And it's just fucking awful. Uh, he's definitely in this tier. I'm trying to figure out where I, I would put him. I think right behind IHOP Lady. Just look at one of his songs to know what I'm talking about. Alright, next up we have Clint Tio. I've never made a video on this guy, but he turns up in every single one of my If I Cringe I Die. And he's just the, the guy who just cries. I'll show you a clip of him. Small potatoes, 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 small potatoes. Apparently he puts lip gloss in his eyes. I just hate him. I, yeah, I hate him. I'm gonna put him in mega cringe because I just- It's one of those ones where you- you look, The longer you look at his face, the angrier you get. Right in front of, um, your waifu. Alright, we got Forgiven. Once again, I made a video on him recently. He's the guy who just giggles. And he's like, he like role plays in his car and sings. And remember, Shadi, I'm only one call away. I'll be daddy, your kid, hey. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm the wrong audience for this. Um, I'm gonna put him right in front of- No, you know what? Right behind IHOP lady. There you go. Alright, we got Zerka. The, uh, 
I made a video on him too. He's the guy who just like, he likes minors. No! He said he's gonna fly to a country just because the legal consent is 16 or something. He's just a weirdo, man. Uh, and because of that, I'm just gonna put him in a straight face. Fuzz99, the fact he's made it on two years in a row is crazy. I saw one of his TikToks recently and he is very cringe. Uh, I think he's at the bottom of mega cringe. 27 and a total king, baby. Sounds he they? Wow. Yeah, he's just annoying as fuck. We only got two more in group A known, so we're coming to the end. We've got Hepatitis B A4. POV, I'm hanging out with Phantom and I go to Riz Up a Gyat. Oh my god. POV, I'm hanging out with Phantom and I go to Riz Up a Gyat. Hey Phantom, think I can Riz Up that Gyat over there? Well, let's give it a shot. Hey Gyat, girl, um, you're looking mighty. Ugh. I folded. I folded, Phantom. Why do you keep taxing my- <laughs> It's bad, you know. But I'm not gonna lie, he's obviously- he's obviously taking the piss. I'm gonna- I think it's pretty funny. I'm gonna put it in pretty funny. Especially his YouTube shorts one where, where he's just like, making fun of all the gen- He basically just makes fun of all the Gen A kids. He's one of the few examples where he's being ironic, but it's funny ironic. Alright, last one on the list, we've got the Roblox streamer guy. He's just gross. Like, he's not even cringe, he's just gross. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Again. First, I went over what we have. We have a roach infestation. I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. He just leaves food everywhere. Like, he does nothing about it. He lives in his mom's basement, apparently. He looks like that. Uh, he's just, it's kind of hard to rate him. I'm gonna put him in a straight face. Get a job, like, for real. All right, we're moving on to group B unknown. First off, we got Cohen. I've seen some shit about him. He basically, like, uh, role plays him being cool. And with the kids, like, yeah, look, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Get sent to different class. Notices everyone is bored as fuck. Who knows the answer to this? Well, I don't know the answer to that, but I know what 9 plus 10 is. There it is. 21. Puts on sick in my face as everyone laughs. Daps me up. I can't tell if he's being serious or not, but it's just kind of sad. It's not even cringe. It's just sad, man. Like, what? This guy is fantasizing about having friends. I'm gonna put him in here. He doesn't really matter. It's cringe, but in a way where, like, you're kind of- you feel sorry for him. We got Katie Whitney. I've actually seen a few of her shits in, uh, If I Cringe I Die series. She's probably joking, but it's fucking bad. It's money merch. It's money merch. <laughs> yep, I designed it all myself. I'm running the whole business. <laughs> I'm running the whole business by myself. <laughs> she does it way too good. 15 minutes until midnight. And me has no one to kiss. Great. Uh, it's like, you remember that trend where people were like trying to cringe themselves out? Oh. Me just like the flavor. Oh my god. I hate everything about it. She's going the top. Uh, right, right in front of IHOP lady. Misty Reigns, she's new, like I said, I ha I've actually only seen like a few of hers. Awesome. That was really awesome. Yeah, she's a whole adult, like she's 18 and she's doing this cringy shit, like acting like a baby. Acting like a child needs to stop in 2024. From what I've seen, she's like low tier, like here maybe. Oh, okay, this guy is definitely going off on like high, high on the list. We've got Imrank underscore 007. Um, Imrank, I'm rank, what rank is he? Is he diamond one? He's the dude that puts salt in his face and cries. I don't know why he does it. Can you smile? But like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, seriously. <laughs> I hate this shit. It's kind of like the, the Clintino guy. He put, it looks like he puts shit in his eyes or something. They're both on the same level. So I'm just gonna put him behind. Um, because the other one's black. Cut that out. That was... Is this nigga serious? Oh uh, yeah, he's up there though, man. Hot, like, top tier cringe. One more. This is the last person. And it's absolutely Lisa. You guys have actually suggested me this person. So I don't even know what she does. Let me show you what it looks like. Do you know what this is? <laughs> it's pumpkin spice cream cheese for my Christmas bread! I'm gonna eat my Christmas bread right now. So, we were thinking on the way home, Danny and I. Yeah, it's like, 
someone's mother. And for sticky snack. It's a snack. It's a snack. I feel like the- She's like an actual grown woman, like, working and everything. That's just so crazy to me. Okay, we're moving English VTubers to the bottom of top tier cringe, because they're fucking cringe. I'm gonna put this person- uh, right before Lomabu. There you go. That, that's that's my list. And now, the hard part. I have to crown someone the poop crown. It definitely has to be on this tier. We've got, we got My Hero fans. They're up there. But it's not one person. So I can't say the cringest person. Like, do you know what I mean? We've got Dream. Dream is cringe. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like it's so, like, generic if I was to give him the poop crown. We've got Clintono. He's definitely a contender. We've got Your Wife of Yuka. Just horrible. It's just like, it's, it's, I feel like it's so far up there and it's so different because it's a different type of cringe. Yeah, if I'm being honest, uh, I would, if it wasn't a person that I needed to crown it to, it would be My Hero Academia. That's what it would be. Uh, they're just the fans, the cosplayers, because they never fail to make me element react. But if, if we're talking about person, I'm stuck between your wife, Yuka, and this Clintono guy. Alright, it's Clintona. <laughs> yeah, man, he's, he's fucking bad. It's mainly because when I hear grown people just like, uh, like pretending to be babies and kids, and he's just, every time I see his face, it, it angers me. But yeah, man, if it wasn't a per, like I said, if it wasn't a person, my hero fans would it'd win. So basically, the true winner is my hero academia fans, but for a person, it's, it's this Clintono guy. But yeah, that's my, uh, cringest person of 2023. Uh, let me know your guys' cringest person. You're probably gonna say fuzz or something. But yeah, this is the cringest person of the year till till next year. If you guys enjoyed, smash like, grab your cock, give it a twist. Happy New Year. Uh, we're gonna have a lovely year of more cringe. I cannot wait. Black Cat Balaki out, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be soon. Wink. Bye, bye.